Finally, we want to look at the problems of fiscal policy. Um, there are four primary problems with fiscal policy and why generally there's a preference among economists to use monetary policy rather than fiscal policy. Um, those four problems include crowding out, the recognition leg, the legislative leg, and the implementation leg. Now, some of these are only exist um, with um, discretionary fiscal policy. But the first one, crowding out, exists with any kind of fiscal policy. Crowding out occurs when government purchases replace private consumption. So what's happening here is that, um, like, let's say the government decides to boost the economy by spending more on library books. Well, that would probably mean that I would buy less books on my own. And if I buy fewer books on my own, then, um, you know, the government spending more money on library books would mean that a lot of other people decide not to buy their own individual copies of the books anymore. So, you can see how one would crowd out the other. <coughs> Recognition leg, this occurs when you use um, discretionary policy. And basically, what we're saying here is it takes time to recognize a problem. And the result of that is that by the time you recognize that there is a problem uh, by, you know, collecting the data, well, by then um, the problem has already gotten much worse. The legislative leg, that's the idea that it takes time to make a law. And then finally, in the implementation leg, is it takes time to spend the money, like with whatever system um, you have started. Um, so for these reasons, um, these things don't typically exist with monetary policy, and for these reasons then, economists tend to not like to use fiscal policy to try to fix the economy.